Number 12, is the order a rabbit? I'm just gonna be straight with you all on this one. I really like cute stuff. It takes a certain type and level of cuteness for me to watch an entire series just because it's cute, but if any show can be said to fit that criteria, it's Gochu Mon Wa Usagi Desu Ka, aka Is the Order a Rabbit? This is going to be the hardest thing on my list to justify to those who don't understand the appeal of this show, so if you find yourself alienated, then don't worry, you won't be alone. A big part of the fun of watching this series weekly was that I did so with my little brother Shade, whose favorite anime are pretty much anything that's funny and has cute girls. We actually recorded a lot of our reactions to the episodes and posted them on my Digi Does Anime channel, because I felt that those reactions did a better job of conveying our enjoyment of the show than us sitting around rambling about how cute it was. Incidentally, if you're interested, I'll link those videos below since they still might be the best explanation. Gochi Yusa is a show about five adorable girls who work in three different coffee shops and hang out around town together. I think the show takes place in Japan, but the town looks like some kind of quaint European village, which is awesomely detailed and drawn as a place that I wouldn't mind living in. The series frequently utilizes detail and a subdued color palette to give all the coffee shops a feeling of inviting hominess. All of the character designs are adorable as fuck, and the series frequently features surprisingly high quality character art and animation. I dare say that this was one of the most aesthetically pleasing series of 2014 for me, which has a lot to do with making it easy to watch and rewatch. It is not incorrect to say that Gochi Usa is a situational comedy series since there are a lot of jokes and laugh out loud moments, but I don't think that it really cuts to the heart of the matter to call it a comedy. The next few shows on this list are much stronger comedic series, but Gochi Usa is more notable for how easy it is to watch and how enjoyable it can be even when it's not particularly funny. Sometimes the punchline isn't meant to make you laugh so much as it is to make you go the aww, and that emotion, which is so hard to put into words that I had to resort to a sound effect, is a lot of what drives this series. All of the voice acting is pretty well done from a cast of actresses who all have relatively few roles, which is always refreshing. Uchida Maya's performance as Sharo is one of my favorites of the year, just because the way that she pronounces certain words is so uniquely adorable. Between this role and her performance as Ichinose Hajime in Gachaman Crowds, she's quickly becoming one of my favorite vocal performers. I guess Goji Usa could be considered a soothing type anime, as well as, to use a dying word, moe. There certainly have been ridiculous amounts of character goods released from this show, although sadly nothing I'd actually want to own. Come on, on, figure makers, give me a Poochie Nendoroid set of all the girls, or at least Chino and Sharo, and you'll have my money. There's really not much else to say about this show. You can probably tell just by looking at it if it's the kind of show for you, and if you're looking to get into this kind of show, then this is not a bad place to start. You can watch it legally for free on Crunchyroll. So, what did you think of the rabbit show? Let me know in the comments below, and in case you missed them, check out my videos on number 14, Mushishizoku Show, and number 13, Hanamonogatari, and stick around on my channel to see what my 11th favorite anime of the year is tomorrow.